Hey, God, um, I just want to talk to you about something. Nothing real big. Um, you see, I mean, you know all the people we create, you know, all of them, pretty cool people. I mean, but why do we waste that kind of them? I mean, all they do is just take what you've given them and turn it into something way different than what I or you could imagine, right? Right? Um, and all they've done is just completely ignore you and just been dishonorable to you. Doesn't that just make you mad? Come on, you remember the time with Adam and Eve. I mean, you gave them one simple rule. Don't eat the forbidden fruit from the middle of the garden. What? I mean, look what they did. They ate the forbidden fruit from the middle of the garden. The simplest rule you could give anybody. And they just completely just disregarded it. And then we have Moses. He was a pretty cool guy. But his people, they're just whining all the time. <laughs> because of how much they had. They either had too much or too little. They wanted more bread, more fish, pescado, you know? I mean, that's just <laughs> really and then when Moses wants to go up to the mountain, you know, to get the tent and that he was at the end, he came back down, and what did he see? He saw them worshiping fake idols, like a cow and stuff like that. It's just ridiculous. And then we got Jonah, who was whiny also. I mean, he didn't want to go talk to the Jonah, but you had to have him eaten by a fish just to prove your point. And even when you did prove your point, he was still complaining again about shade. And then the most ridiculous of them all, Daniel. I mean, he got in trouble for praying to you. He got thrown the lion's den for praying to you. All the other people that deserved it, they didn't get that punishment. But him, he got the punishment. Sure, I mean, Job was a cool guy. I mean, he was able to withstand everything that she threw at him and show his face to you. And Abraham was the very extreme to show his face to you. But in that time, there's been very few people. I mean, why do we even waste our time with them? There's no point in any, any of this anymore. I mean, sure, there are those couple of people that follow you, but come on, they're not, they're not able to get enough sacrifice to cover for all the sin that they've done. God, it's too late for them. There's nothing we can do, nothing you can do. Why do I even bother? All right, God, let me hear it. What's your plan to save all these people this time? I'd love to hear it. <coughs> My son, it's time for you to go, and you know what needs to be done. Yes, my father. But God, no, but that one. Enough. You'll see. All their prayers, all their hardship, all their agony will be answered shortly. Just watch. Just watch. myself out of here. <laughs> What's so funny? You're trying to get yourself out. <laughs> I have to. We're on a dead row, man. <laughs> so, you're going to get yourself out. <laughs> I hold the destinies of these men in my hand. I know you Jews have a tradition on this holy day, and I will release one of these prisoners on death row. This man is a criminal. He leads a rebellion. He brings drama to others. He hurts people. He lies and he steals. He's a rebel who deserves the crucifixion. What has he done but heal and restore, deliver and set free? He opens blind eyes and opens deaf ears. Tell me, who do you want? We want Barabbas! I still want to get myself out of here. What? That's the opposite of the gospel. Are you bound? 
Are you held under this, this power of sin? Do you feel like it's controlling you? What are you going to do? I'm going to shake myself free. Stop it. No, you won't. You're no match for the powers of hell and the urges of sin. You'll never overcome it. You'll just be another statistic. There is no answer within yourself. Your own marriage, your own kids, your own life. There's only one. And I'm here to take your place. Yes! Let him have Barabbas! Take me! No, no, I deserve it. I deserve the guilt. I deserve the shame. I deserve the consequences. No. No, I deserve it. I did this to myself. No, son. Oh, God. I'm, I'm so ashamed. Give me a shame, son. But God, what if I do it again? <laughs> I'll still be here. Oh God, I love you. I don't want to do this to you anymore. I don't want to hurt you. Give me your sin, son. This is all we got. This is all you got. This is all I got. You need to make a decision now, Barabbas. You're going to be free. Not by the people. Not by, Bar not by Pilate. But by me. Give me your sins. Okay. <clears throat> but God, if I stand in this empty space, forgiveness and acceptance, then what do I do? Go. Live your life. <clears throat> I'll pay the price. Go. I'll pay the price. But why? My father sent me for you. He loves you. I'm going to die on that cross for you. I wanted you to go free. My father's love is everlasting. He doesn't care what you do, what, what you've done. He loves you.